So what it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoot tainment today. And welcome back to the land of strip, man. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff to keep you up to date with everything that I got going on. And it's always something going on, man. I'm always uploading. I try to do at least two videos a week, man. So just come through every now and then. You'll see what's kicking on the scene man we currently on the road to 5k trying to get that done by the end of the year so if everybody sub up it'll be a go we actually hit 3k today well the day i shot this video i don't know when i'm gonna put it up but the day i shot this video <laughs> we hit 3,000 subscribers y'all know i said i would do a collection video at 3,000 i will do it it's just gonna be a minute because i got a couple battles that i gotta do and i don't want to give away my whole collection first before I do them battles but once we get them battles out the way collection video soon after so just wanted to put that out there that you guys know when nobody be like man, man fly, you see it be, 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 be. fuck all that so shoot that uh when you when you when you're in sneaker youtube man sometimes you have pairs that you for totally totally forget that you didn't review or totally forget that you had and this was one of those shoes man so let's get into it boom actually got this shoe the week of release and just now reviewing it what shoe is that you ask it is the uh championship red dunk lows fasten your lap belts man let's prepare to take flight all right man we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers just giving you a shot of that size tag man so you can see how it coming this is a size seven and a half you can go ahead and pause it man hit your little snapshot screenshot it or whatever so you know how they coming uh retail was a whopping 100 dollars can't beat that your traditional nike box in that reddish orange color some people say it's red some people say it's orange reddish orange whatever this box same box you see all the time white tissue paper on the interior red <clears throat> quality control stamp down here in the lid and that's a pretty much it man now we get into the shoe um for some reason man nike has really been pushing these dunk lows usually you know the sbs get all the hype but apparently this time around just the regular uh dunks are getting their chance at it and they seem to be selling pretty good um comment below let me know how you guys feel about these or if you've copped any other other lows throughout the year i myself have the uh, unc low and that black uh crazy camo low i was able to grab both of those this year uh shout out to me <laughs> you know we don't take enough time to give ourselves credit for the work time and effort that we put in to get this stuff done but um camera lady actually hit on these i think they dropped two pairs that day and uh this was one of them i think she wanted the other pair i don't know what it was but she ended up actually getting these so a dub is a dub shout out to nike shout out to sneakers and there's something going on this lace is like frayed like somebody tried to cut this lace y'all ever seen that before it's like torn that's crazy never really seen that before but you got your traditional dunk styling this lace sticking up this bottom all right cool so the shoe the whole upper is leather you got a decent little white leather uh over top with your red underlays for your toe cap your side panels and the actual top of your heel you see that red stitched nike back there in the back flipping around to that medial the exact same uh what i like that they did with this is the actual tongue is red and then you got the white accents on your tongue tag white trim around the actual top of the tongue that was a smooth look um if this stitching the stitching on the shoe had been red that would have been a dope look as well this leather is okay i mean it's not the greatest leather on the planet but it's all right you know it's a leather shoe <laughs> This is a leather shoe. You do have some glue stains and uh, they came with like some dirt smudges. Like you got dirt smudge right here. Uh, this lace that I was talking about is jacked. Like somebody hit it with a knife. And they came like that. These haven't been worn or anything. Interior's got a red insole with that orange, that mango colored uh, Nike branding on the inside. Your little wadded up uh, tissue paper in that joint. 
all white midsole capping off the bottom of that with that red championship red on the out so decent touch man i actually like the way these shoes look i thought they were pretty boring in pictures but once you get it in hand it's like all right man this shoe pretty decent flat white laces um i don't think these reflect or anything like those other ones but just standard white laces they don't come with spare laces either um got some stitches out of place too up here for you guys to pay attention to that kind of stuff a couple stitches out of place i'm usually one of those nitpicky guys you got another one here i pay attention to it i mean it's not necessarily a deal breaker but it is visible on the pair just letting you know that these come in a little lax on on their quality for sure checking over the other shoe don't see too much going on with this one you got like a little mark on your swoosh right there i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up white leather swooshes by the way <clears throat> you definitely got some stitching errors and this glue is definitely visible, but I don't know how to show that on camera. But it's there. Either way, right shoe matches the left shoe to the T. Decent colorway, nice kick around shoe, especially for the price point, man. You can just wear them, do whatever in them, and, you know, send them to their graves in several years or so. But boom, red out. So, but a different pair of laces like a red lace or maybe that mango orange colored lace would have really been a kick and you know sometimes you get extra laces but in this case you didn't um as far as sizing goes i'd say in regular dunks buy your regular size um i do suggest sizing up in the sbs but in the regular dunks just buy your normal size camera lady has her preference as well which is the size up so she does that from time to time depending on how the thirst is or whatever whatever but that's that sizing um comfort they're pretty rigid you're gonna get average comfort out of them c plus comfort just like your jordan ones chuck taylor's any of those flat sole shoes it's the same same thing don't expect nothing out of this world um but they look good they look good on feet so that's a fact especially if you're in the low top sneakers but um at any rate that's pretty much the review. Appreciate you guys stopping by, watching. Don't forget to let me know how you feel about these in the comments. We can talk about it down there. All that good stuff. And until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holla at you.